I'm Ida Hajivayanis, a senior lecturer in Swahili in the Department of Language, Cultures and Linguistics at SOAS. My name is Marcus Gilroy Ware and I'm a lecturer in Creative Digital Media in the School of Arts at SOAS University of London. Hi. Hi, hey, good how are you? you? Good to yeah. see you as well. It's really good. I'm happy we're here. We can have yeah. this conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How about you go first so that we can just dive in? Okay, sure. Yep. All right. Not that one. How can art or language contribute to preserving traditions and in turn shape the modern world? Okay. I think this makes me think of, of Africa right away. And, um, and I think of, of the realities of being African in that our families tend to be multilingual. So at home, you'd have three, four languages um, mm. at the same time. And it's very different to, for, for instance, the West, where you have one nation, one language, English for, for England, French for France, etc. Well, that's and what so, they claim about that's the what West, they... <laughs> but it's not really it's it's, true Oh, okay. But no, well, continue with your no, point no, no. and then... <laughs> okay, so I mean, I mean, I mean this, this, this is probably like the national okay, okay, discourse, rather, maybe I, I should probably say that. But when I think of that, I feel that these languages... Uh, carry memory, carry history, carry people's identities. And in, in today's world, that's really, really important. So I would mm. say um, these aspects like multilingualism, the memories carried within language, are what shapes the, the modern world. Do you know what you think? Well, there's been a whole debate around multiculturalism in the last like, two to three decades in, yes. in sort of Western and, and European. Yeah. So that's not always had the healthiest element as far as those those conversations but it does it does show that that kind of sense of there being one country one language and one sort of yeah simple thing that binds everyone together is is fraying and not not wrongly i mean yeah. a city like london where we're sat today obviously yeah. and where soas is yes you know we see that more yeah you know more evidently than ever i have met a lot of people who come to london and they expect London to be the capital of Englishness, <laughs> and they expect to hear English on the bus. No. And then, you know, yeah. 48 hours later, they're like, what is this place, you know? <laughs> That's true. In what ways might AI, art, and language models impact our engagement with art, languages, and cultures? This is really relevant, mm, isn't it? Very, yeah. Um, in, in, in today's world. But I think of translation, for instance, mm. like um, a few years ago, as in like when you used um, Google or any other sort of like um, web-based uh, uh, um, platforms, the translations are completely wrong. There, mm. was no, there was no context, it was just funny. <laughs> but now, when you look at what AI has done, it's brilliant. But at the same time, you can never remove the human base in that because some words might have three, four, five meanings depending on context. Well, I suppose I mean, if we contrast that with, uh, with arts, you know, I mean, I think that the picture is very different there because the desire even to develop technology that mm. can kind of generate art yeah. without a human being uh, being involved is is something that I think is already a bit suspect, to be honest with you. And, you know, I've, I've played with some yeah. of these tools and actually, in some cases, the things they produce are not half bad. Yes. But yeah. it's this idea that you want to take something which is a kind of human creative practice yeah. from which people were already struggling to make a yeah. living in some, in some cases. Yeah. You know, if we look at the history of Silicon Valley and we look at the history of, of the development of technology in general, mm. rarely has it been produced according to the interests of those who want to make life better for most people okay. it's normally about making processes more economic more efficient yeah. cheaper for those who own that technology yeah. from, from the beginning and i think unfortunately this is an attempt to do that now to the creative sectors as well yeah. ai music ai visual yeah. arts yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah that's yeah. why i'm a bit hesitant to embrace <laughs> it you know. the last one it's, know, all, wow. it's yours okay, what an honor. <laughs> go ahead how can individuals actively contribute to the enrichment and preservation of their cultural heritage through artistic and linguistic means? Can I just tell you quickly about our new program Please, uh, yeah. at SOA? So we've started a new program, it's called BA Africa and Black Diaspora. Most of the students in that program are actually heritage students. So they're students with backgrounds from the Caribbean, uh, from other black diasporas, from Africa. We do have students who, from, from sort of like other, other parts as well. But I think people who come to this program are people who want to know more about themselves. I think one of the ways of, of doing that is 
educating yourself, you know, I mean, go out there, enroll in a program that teaches you more about yourself. Hearing you speak about this really is, it reminds me that, you know, an undergraduate degree is a continuation of your development as a person, yes. right? I mean, if you want to just quickly do this, go and get a job, we'll give you that, right? Mm -hmm. But actually, we prefer to, for you to think about it as a kind of general growth and enrichment yeah. of, of who you are yeah. and actually... It, it will lead you in all sorts of unexpected and amazing yeah. Yeah. ways. And I think there's something very rich, enriching about that too. Uh, that's, I mean, you've, you've ended this really, really well, <laughs> Marcus. And um, thank you so much for, for coming and for... for well, I mean, thank you. I mean, you've taught me so much. To you've taught me yeah, so much today. Well, I feel, can I, wish... can I come and audit your classes? <laughs> well, likewise, <laughs> I, want to, I want to come no, and sit in I yours. To, I want to come and learn a bit more.